Welcome back. Well, uh, that comment, the speech by the president about uh, people making trouble, he did say from that speech you could hear that the question of what restructuring, as they say here, he seems to, it seems to be a foregone conclusion. He says, yes, uh, not that there are no issues, but the National Assembly and the National Council of State are the legal appropriate bodies to look into that. You say he's passing the buck, but at the same time you say he's correct. So how is he passing the buck if he says the right things, legally as well? No, look, the, principal, the pre president needs to show leadership. If the president is interested in restructuring, which means looking at the way government is run now, and believing that changes need to take place, he himself will commit to it. Unfortunately, he has said, it is on record. I remember it was front page punch <laughs> and about three or four pages interviews where he has said that he does not believe in the recommendations of the 2014 confab report wherein all this idea by restructuring is embedded. That's what we're saying, that saying that everything has to go to the National Assembly, yes, indeed, we will take it to the National Assembly. It is being discussed there, but where does the president stand on the issue? It is very vital. You remember during the, maybe you don't know, but you probably know on record in history, during the Civil War, there was this slogan, to keep Nigeria one is a task that must be done. Everybody agreed, but Weloyinka had a retort to that, which I think is very pertinent now. To keep Nigeria one, justice must be done. Without that, there will be problems in the country. And everybody, who is talking about restructuring is not secessionist. There is a difference between people who want to secede and people who want to restructure. Sometimes the opponents of restructuring, they want to lump all of us together. We are not going to allow that to happen. We will continue to say what we mean by restructuring. For instance, fiscal restructuring means devolution of powers from the center to the states so that each state has control over its own resources. You don't go cap in hand to the federal to receive federation account every month. You use the resources in your state huh. to develop your economy. If I could read part and, of that And, and this is the problem that we have in the country. Maybe, let me just quote it that It is speech. for the betterment of our nation. He then says yes. that. This is not to deny that there are legitimate concerns. Every group has a grievance, but the beauty and attraction of a federation is that it allows different groups to air their grievances and work out a mode of coexistence. Sure. He then goes on to say, the National Assembly and the National Council of State are the legitimate and appropriate bodies for national discourse. The national consensus is that it is better to live together than to live apart. So it, it, this has a tone of finality in terms of where he stands on the matter. The national consensus is that we will stay together. But we will add to that, providing justice and fairness is maintained. Northwest cannot have seven states within that geopolitical zone, and Southeast has five within that geopolitical zone and you expect peace, and you expect the people from the Southeast to keep quiet. There will be no peace because there's no justice. These are facts. Now, you know, we want to keep Nigeria one. This is why the Confab is suggesting that each geopolitical zone gets the same number of states, nine. Increase the seven in Northwest to nine, give them two more to satisfy other groups that are looking for their own state. Give the Southeast four more so that there will also be nine 
Southwest has six now. Give us three more. Everybody nine. Every geopolitical zone. This is how you run a federation. And in order for, look, as it is now, do you realize that you cannot get any legislation approved in the National Assembly if you are from the South? Why? Because you don't have the numbers. Okay? This is the fact. Because when you have number of, more number of states, what does that give you? It gives you more senators. It gives you more number, members of the House of uh, 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 Representatives. You, you get the point. And then it gives you more local governments. This is where the problem is. The disparity has been established in the 1999 Constitution, which is a bogus constitution, written by the military, very short-sighted, and we have to change that constitution. And that is what the, the proponents of restructuring are clamoring for. Fairness, equity, and progress. Do you think that As captures... it is now, our economy is shackled. Do you think that the president captured that's what you're saying, what you're referring to when he says that Nigeria's unity is settled and not negotiable. We shall not allow irresponsible elements to start trouble. Well, the question is, who are the irresponsible elements? When do you begin to arrest people like me for saying that if there's no justice, there'll be no peace? Am I also a secessionist? Look, on my way here, people were calling me and warning me that I shouldn't, I should be careful because they say they're going to pick people up if they protest against the president. I said it, look, if the president is here to work, hmm, we welcome him. If he's here to just come and mark register and go back for treatment, then this is a bogus attempt to deceive Nigerians. Well, we can't say for that's sure if, that's the case. That's no, 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 I didn't say anything. I said if, yeah, right? But, yeah, it is conditional. I, I, if I that is though. the case, uh, say, oh, no, we've got to be prepared. Since